Got a part in a movie in 1986. I called it the they couldn't. I said, right, that ain't funny. Mm. So to me, it was. So 2018 was when I finally got a real quote. And that is the last time that I, I haven't gotten a raise since then. And every, each and every project that I have, I have to fight for that. You still have to fight. I have to fight for that. I'm like, let's send your son to Iraq. That's difficult. It's just a movie. It's like, relax. I don't play that precious nonsense. Oh, we move over. Get out of here. You know, your son got shot in the face. That's difficult. Years in the game, and I hear the same thing, and I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. About this whole Tarot, you know, I, I heard I was trending yesterday uh, because people are saying that I was not supporting Taraji. Taraji will tell you. Girl, let me tell you about the scandal that has everyone talking. According to the streets, Denzel Washington leaked some salacious film that completely upended Oprah's life. Can you believe it? Of all people, Denzel Chile, we're discussing something that has the potential to upend Oprah's entire enterprise. So this isn't just small time gossip. That video, how is Oprah managing all of this turmoil? And why did Denzel choose to spill the tea now? I'm going to serve up some hot tea today. Oprah has been in the spotlight for a long time, but is this the scandal that drags her down at last? Pay attention because we're going to get into this situation in depth, and I promise you won't want to miss what's upcoming. Oprah is per acting like, oh, I, I didn't know. Oh, gee golly, right? And also, uh, you, you want to bring in, a, what is it, what is it, Merlin, the Wayfair? What, what's that called? Oh, yeah, so, not like it, okay, so I'm going to say it again. There are things I can't tell you here, <laughs> all right? I can mention certain things, but yeah, I will not see, go into how them. How about you here. mention? <laughs> okay. Um, for those of you who don't know Wayfair, if you haven't been familiar with Wayfair, Wayfair was just like Wish and Amazon. You used to go in there and purchase. The problem was that Wayfair was also involved in selling people, children, people. And if you went to, and they would put them under certain titles of furniture names now you would see like a, a table with a name a type of table for hundred and it would be yeah for a hundred thousand dollars it's crazy and people would go and purchase this table you wouldn't get a table you'd be purchasing a person sick oprah was involved in all of that you want to know how she made her money just understand that's part of it. Yeah, don't don't think that she. Okay. Yeah. Now, if 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 you knew, you have to influence to shut things down. You have government influence because she knew Obama, right? She and Obama was pretty damn tight. Oh yeah, he gave oh, her okay. reward. He gave all her reward. All right, so they know each other, right? Mm -hmm. She knew all this while he was a president. For eight years right you were telling me you're aware you don't have the wherewithal to say yo i have some news that you could you could deal with uh, some pretty bad things in america and get rid of this problem didn't do that now I, I, what i want you to all understand that 40 percent of the people being trafficked were of african-american type okay so even if you were like she is said said that old white people need to die if you're that kind of mindset where you really don't like white people but you use their money wouldn't you at least do something to try and stop the trafficking of your own people but that wasn't done either so I, and that's all i'm going to say about that me, until my channel okay let me let me cut in for a minute so listen um marine this is crazy 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 that you said this and I'm, I'm telling you 100% for a fact, this is the truth. So you say anyone with half a brain has to ask why uh, was America so fascinated with Oprah? She wasn't pretty. She wasn't especially smart. Okay, uh, listen to me, <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> this is crazy that you see Marine, we friends, see, we, see that? Did she call in yesterday? <laughs> That's mama. mama. That's mama. Okay, okay. Listen, Marine, I'm sorry, we friends. I don't want to argue with you. But no, but really, what you're saying is so crazy. I was just talking to my wife about that earlier. I said, I told my wife, I said, you know what's crazy? 
when I was uh, younger, you know, when Oprah was really, really jumping off, right? I used to look at her and I used to say, how the hell did she blow up like that? Okay, because I'm watching her and, you know, she put on a good show. She do. She put on a good, interesting, intriguing show. But hell, anybody can do that. I mean, not anybody, but most people. Hell, Mira Marlin can do that right now. You know what I'm saying? That's not a big deal. Um, and I'm looking at her and I'm not, you know, trying to be disrespectful, none, but she's not cute at all. You know, I'm not at saying all. I'm cute, but she's not cute. So then I'm like, okay, and you're overweight. All right. You know, how the hell did you get so much fascination from America? Now we know why. I've always wondered that. I've all, I just had I had to throw that in there because I've always wondered that, and now I can see what's going on. But what's what's dangerous about this is, is that these kind of people carry spirits. They they carry spirits, and when you deal with these people, those spirits are jumping you and have you doing the same old mess, and you don't and you won't even realize what you got going on. So that's what's dangerous with about dealing with people like her. Um, now, she, mind she, you, there is a cult way that she handles things. Okay, let us go into the juicy facts of this leaked video that has everyone talking. What is contained in this video? This isn't your typical celebrity video girl, and we're talking about footage that could potentially end Oprah's entire career. Can you believe it? The woman who has been America's favorite talk show host for decades may be in some serious trouble. I know you're all eager to find out what's in this footage, but rumors have it that it shows Oprah in a compromising situation we're not talking about some innocuous little mishap. Chill apparently this is really serious stuff that could permanently alter how people perceive her, but here's the truth. It's like playing telephone with everyone no one has watched the entire video yet. Speculating about what they believe is in it, some claim it dates back years while others insist it's current. The uncertainty is part of what makes this whole situation so outrageous. I, I want you to understand how, how many women she affected by doing what she did. A lot. Okay. A lot. And then I mean, you have people like Rose McGowan. I want you to, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this, okay? Um, I, I won't bring it up, but I'll, I'll read it. Um, when she was asked about um, Harvey Weinstein, she said, of course I didn't know this was going on. Of course I didn't know. Now, if you know anything about people who are guilty, they have a, a certain set of brute words that they will use to try and convince you that what they're saying is truth. A very they have a very specific way of saying things this of course i didn't know any of it was going on i think where this movement will eventually lead us is to not accepting any kind of behavior that disparages you as a human being mind you this is about women right this is the response when confronted with something that harvey weinstein was doing 90 different women understand this a man who was your friend 90 women nine zero women accused him you get confronted about what you knew and your response is of course i didn't know any of this was going on i think this movement i think where this movement will eventually do this is not accepting any kind of behavior that disparages you as a human being why am I willing to put up with an a-hole? Not only am I going to take your sexual harass, not take your sexual harassment, I'm not going to take any of your BS, period. That's your response to a man being accused of 90 different ways of harassment and what? Disgusting. Marla, I, do, excuse me for a minute. I'm just finna. I'm, if, if I look like I'm lost, I'm trying to make sure I'm not on that uh, on a YouTube no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. So, give me a second. He, I, that, uh, that that's part of what I was going like her pushing to have Dave do certain things and wondering why he wouldn't do certain things and upset with him because he wouldn't do certain things, i.e., dress in a dress. You will see some things happen over time like that on her show um that will tell you exactly how she viewed it and what she did it, it'll be an obvious thing it'll be a very obvious thing even dave was saying yeah i wasn't down with that you see them trying to emasculate uh, black men in america and she's like well i don't know that's what they really do 
she was involved, always has been involved. She is still involved. Um, yet there are pictures with Harvey and her, and the, and that's part of the thing that Ruth McGowan is one of the main people that was in, in you know harmed by this. And when somebody who now this is part of the whole, I blame the victim thing, right? So you're telling me that a lady is telling you, I know firsthand this man did this. And I, she said, I told Oprah, and I know Oprah was part of it. She is aware of it, didn't do anything. Your response is, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. It would seem like you would have went, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and let's take away from the thing, but she should have went to the government at least. She should have went and told and reported this stuff. So Sabrina, uh, a, a lady by the name of Sabrina, uh, bitter bitter court bitten court uh she did a report on it and all of a sudden she committed suicide <laughs> you know all these people commit suicide after they do reports on this stuff and 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 we just accept that we just let it go you know like like a lot of people that's dealing with the clintons they they had uh, committed suicide they say uh, <laughs> <laughs> He just happened to fall on a gun that was loaded and popped. Him yeah, in and then kaboom from behind. You know? Yeah. So, so just just understand too that um, it's 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 crazy. Oprah, um, it, it was something else that you had mentioned to me, uh, Marlon. Well, one oh, thing oh. I did. Go ahead. No, I, I want I wanted to to tie the connection from. Um, I wish I, I wish I'd have put a map up. If you can see the connection from the school and the uh, the camp, the firm, the firm that uh. That this guy that John had, it's it's across the water. But if you just look at the location, so if you got a, if you got time, go back and look at the location. Go Google it. The the distance from the school and the farm, and it seemed like an easy transition. So what made Oprah, which is a which is a double edged sword, what made her be so hard on empowering women? which leads into a whole new thing. She put all this, all this power into women, power, women, 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 girls, 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 girls. And the thing, the thing that I come up with Oprah is, hmm. is that Oprah was molested <clears throat> when she was younger and, and bless her heart. I'm not, I'm not um, teasing her about that or, or making a mockery out of it because that's a terrible, terrible thing. And I would dread for anything like that to happen to any of mine. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's funny. And I don't think it's a joke. And I'm not trying to say that it's a, like I how that she get but what i'm am what i am trying to tie in is this this woman is hurt same way with uh what's his name the, the gay dude um shit the dude we talked about already the, the actor uh, oh you mean the tyler perry yeah tyler perry <clears throat> see the, the problem with these people is that they hurt and they have not turned to god see when you don't turn to god and you got the, this pain in you you turn around and you inflict that pain on people and that's what they do. Oprah's doing the same thing. She was she was molested when she was younger, so allegedly by a, a, a family member, and she was end up getting pregnant. And uh, I think she lost the baby or had to abort the baby, or whatever. I forgot what it was, but the bottom line is, is she went through some things, and so now she's taking it upon herself to put other kids through those things with no conscience. And then on top of that, I get to do these things and get paid to do it. Oh count me in and that's exactly what she's doing so you got to be careful when you're dealing with hurt people that has not turned to god if i find out you hurt and you have not turned to god i got to be super careful with you because you never know how that person is going to act out and this is what she's doing she put herself in position how she got in that position exactly down to a t i don't know but it's really odd that she blew up like that and she just like, come on now, look at her. I, I do know how she blew up that way, but like I said, that particular part of things you can't touch well, here. I'm just saying, I, I know exactly how she got. <laughs> yeah, how does she meet these people? And and yeah, we, yeah. Oh, well, is... okay, I, that I can talk about. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so um, I don't know how many people know about the uh, Bohemian Grove uh, Society. Um, and people will tell me, oh, that's conspiracy. Say, no, there was video footage of it. So if you don't want to believe it, then say that you're ignorant and you don't want to believe it. That's fine. You can call yourself ignorant and we will accept that you're ignorant and we'll move on. But it's happening and it's real. Now, people might talk about the I'm not, she's not, she didn't get into this via the Illuminati. That was a whole different thing. How she got into this was just like how every other rap star gets their popularity. You have to perform a certain thing 
you have to give up a certain thing, namely your soul, and you get a certain thing in return. Now, I want you to check the progression here, okay? No name Oprah. She can't really act. I want people to understand that she is not a good actor. You She's not a good actress. Apple. She is putrid when it comes to the camera. She got a role in The Color Purple because she could cry. Okay? Now, you may be wondering how Denzel obtained this footage in the first place. That's the big question, isn't it? Some claim he's had it for years, waiting for the right opportunity to drop this bomb, while others believe it just fell into his lap recently. In any case, the fact that Denzel Washington is responsible for this leak has everyone scratching their heads. But let's talk about what this could mean for Oprah Girl. If what people are saying about this footage is accurate, it could seriously harm her reputation. We're talking about possible lawsuits, lost business deals, and possibly even criminal charges. The most absurd thing is that no one seems to understand why Denzel chose to disclose this information. Are they at odds? Did Oprah do anything to enrage him? Or is there something more significant going on behind the scenes that we are still unaware of? There is no doubt that this footage, whatever it is, has Oprah running. There isn't much we know about this leaked footage yet, but it's enough to keep everyone on the edge of their seats, wondering what will happen next, what the full video will show, and most important, how this will change Oprah's life and career. Feared sources close to her say she's in full panic mode trying to figure out how to handle this mess, but given the way news spreads these days, it might already be delayed for damage control. Absolutely appalling to give credit and, cre and, and credence to a person who's mocking women. <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney, I don't think is serious whatsoever. You got a gay man who has a, a lust oh for fame, and fortune, and what does he do? If it's being gay is not working out for you, you become trans and you try to make a lot of money, which is what Dylan Mulvaney has done. <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney is not an example of women. He's not even trying to be a woman. He walks around with a five o'clock shadow and dresses up in women's clothes and mocks women. Facts. He's berating Facts. women. I have never in my life seen a woman act like Dylan Mulvaney. Not one person on this panel can show me a woman that's as flamboyant and radical and twitching and twisting and acting like Dylan Mulvaney. Are you Mulvaney. insane? Did this you watch the Barbie exist. movie? What are you talking about? What, You're talking who about are you to talk about who a real life. woman is? You're real a man, life. This is well, who, are you, who are you to talk about? I'm not telling anyone who a woman is, but I'm certainly not telling someone who isn't a woman. I've never seen a woman. Do you think Dylan like Mulvey? You cannot compel people <laughs> to use I'm not language compelling people, you want but I want people use. to be kind. I am kind. You're just I am calling, lovely. You're You're calling calling kind. I am mentally unwell. He is mentally unwell. That's am I nice. how, how, very excuse unkind. Excuse me, I'm sorry. on this panel so far has had zero empathy for any of the people we're discussing. You had no empathy. You don't want to hear Riley, other people's opinions. Then, then Riley has you don't want to hear other else. people's opinions. Yeah, Brandon, come into Everyone, you. Ha everyone is... has an opinion. You may not like the opinion, yeah. which is but fine. I don't love? agree with you. Where's it doesn't it's in, matter. It's not lying. You, that's yes. your, you, you think love is lying to people and deceiving people. I think love is telling people the truth and being consistent across the board. Dylan Mulvaney is crazy. Where's the dignity? Now, let me tell you, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Where's the respect? Let's put this in perspective. Let's put this in perspective. Where's the respect? Because I think people get caught up in the, in the gender role thing. Just imagine if a person was white and decided to identify as black, and did all of these crazy We've things had, that this they argument has been had so many times. Listen, that they did stereotypically what black people would do. <laughs> we would be outraged. We would. It would be a sham. I agree. We would not accept it. And so we shouldn't do that. What Dylan Mulvaney is doing is wearing women face. Mm -hmm. The person is but, not a woman. He's not trying to be a woman. He's impersonating. I, honestly, like, I can't continue to sit here listening. To As you are aware, we have been discussing the leaked video, but let's get to the point. Why would Denzel Washington do that to Oprah? Rumor has it that there is more to this tale than meets the eye. So here's the scoop. Some people claim that Denzel has been holding onto this footage for a minute, waiting for the right moment to release it. But why now? And what made him decide to spill all this tea all at once? Denzel and Oprah go way back. They've been in the same circles for years, smiling for the cameras and acting like buddy buddy. But Chile, you know how Hollywood is sometimes those smiles hide some serious drama. Because a lot of this is to do with sport and how you feel it's unfair because you're up against people with it is you know, a, a bigger body, right? So do you think with it's men. unfair? that someone who's taller than you or has more strength than, the, than you can be in the same team. Is that the argument we're a making man. here? Is that what's unfair? I think right? it's man. to do with the crew. All right, let me, wait, let's move on. I, I want to discuss a couple of other things before we finish. One is Oprah Winfrey. We may even get some agreement on this. We might do. Um, Oprah Winfrey's fought back tears because she was basically caught taking these weight loss drugs as Empic, I think. Um, she said it stopped her blaming herself for being unable to control her body shape with willpower. Of course, she was the front woman for Weight Watchers and had to give that up when she was caught not actually doing anything the Weight Watchers tells her to do, but basically taking a tablet to lose weight. Um, <laughs> I want to play the clip of Oprah talking about this. 
I took on the shame that the world gave to me. For 25 years, making fun of my weight was national sport. And then I read the headline that Mr. Blackwell, the tastemaker of the time, called me bumpy, lumpy, and downright dumpy. Because when I tell you how many times I have blamed myself, because yeah. you think I'm smart enough to figure this out, yeah. and then to hear all along, it's you fighting your brain. I'm afraid, I like Oprah, um, known her a bit over the years, but it was she was caught basically defrauding the world, yeah. right? Because yeah. she was a spokeswoman yeah. for Weight Watchers, and yet quietly and secretly, and denied it, actually, she was taking one of these weight loss drugs. We think it may have been a Zempic, it was something similar if it wasn't. But she was just caught. Brandon, I mean, to me, it was the, it was the deceit and the hypocrisy. And I think it's been pretty damaging to Oprah this. And no amount of her tears, uh, pretty crocodile tears, I think, no amount of that is going to change my view that on this one, she really pulled a fast one on the public. And, yeah. in, and in particular, all those women that looked up to her and were following what they thought she represented, Weight Watchers, and their guide to how you lose weight, when in fact she was popping these pills secretly behind everyone's back. This is what they do. You know, she only cried when she got caught. She didn't cry <laughs> when right. she was taking those Olympic pills or whatever the case may be. And then they try to change language. She says she can't change her body shape. Yeah, nobody can change your body shape, but you can change your body weight yeah. depending on what you eat. Are you in a caloric deficit or not? Are you working out or not? But she was saying she was working out, giving these young women false hope. And she did it to them. She should be ashamed of herself. But instead of taking responsibility, which I would have said, fine, you took responsibility. We know people cheat, people do stuff. She made it about her and became the victim. Lady, nobody's putting <laughs> pressure on you about your weight. That only comes from within. I don't care how much I weigh. If I don't care how much I weigh, weigh that's on me. Mm. That didn't have nothing to do with society. So she should be ashamed of herself. But this is what celebrities do. They only... People in the streets are speculating that it might be related to a long simmering feud between Denzel and Oprah, which is common in Hollywood. Everyone has dirt on everyone else. Perhaps Oprah said something behind Denzel's back. Or perhaps she didn't support one of his projects in this town. That's all it takes to turn friends into enemies. But here's where it gets really interesting. Some people are claiming that this isn't just about Denzel and Oprah. They're saying that Denzel might be doing this for someone else. You know how it is in Hollywood, where everyone is connected, and sometimes you have to do favors for your friends, so who could be pulling Denzel's strings? Let's talk about what this means for Denzel and Oprah's relationship, girl. You know, this is going to change everything. They may try to act cool in public, but behind closed doors, it will be devastating. Who is, uh, well, famously, he's, he's, he's married to a director. Um, who is 24 years older than him. He took her name um, when they got married. He's a kale eater. I mean, all of this is ringing alarm <laughs> bells to me, I must say. Um, he says, I'm being a feminist. I'm happy to say I'm a feminist. Being a feminist is just believing in equal rights. Man, woman, gay, straight, black, white, we're all in it together. Um, so we got a kale eating guy with curly hair who took his wife's name. Hey, Brando, I don't know about you, man, but I'm just similar. not sure I can have a kale eating James Bond. Many of the Dutch eat kale, actually. It's quite to popular in, gender in the Netherlands. so heavily? What's wrong with someone eating I, I kale? Think, well, because it suggests they may have vegan tendencies. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Can't have a vegan. The 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 What's wrong with that? They mean they're soft. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. They mean they're soft. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm, I, I believe in a man's man. I, I don't really like these feminine <laughs> I mean, guys who go kale, out. Kale is they, don't, they don't seem to be... God. Men, they don't seem to be fiber in any way. They don't seem, I know it's okay to eat fiber. I'm just saying the, the <laughs> insinuation that the guy got curly hair, he looked like a softy yeah. and he's well. trying to play James Bond. There ain't no real man. L listen, even the, even the gentleman on here that calls himself gay, there is no situation so that you will find yourself gay. What is wrong with you? I, mean, I have sympathy for the I people in the comments right gay. now. They're like, what is going on? Why is this guy You here? know, we don't, don't even know, know actually. Know Brandon, gay. to be fair, we don't he's actually know whether, whether this guy is going to be James Bond. One thing we can say with absolute cast iron certainty is that Barbara Broccoli will not be appointing James Barr as the next 007. Maybe she should. Because there is a limit to what kind of man's man we want as 007, and it ain't James Barr. Additionally, their personal relationship will suffer, but there may be major repercussions for their professions as well. You know how Hollywood operates. It's difficult to shake off a reputation for being dirty. Denzel may believe that he is taking down Oprah, but this could backfire on him greatly. 
The real question is what will happen when these two meet in person you know they will eventually cross paths at some upscale Hollywood event. Can you imagine the tension girl I paid a lot of money to be a fly on that wall? However, the truth is that we don't yet know the whole story. Perhaps Denzel had a valid reason for what he did. Perhaps Oprah did something that we are unaware of. Or perhaps this is all just a huge misunderstanding that got out of control. However, one thing is certain this drama is far from there's more tea to be spilled according to the streets, and I'll be here to give it up hot and fresh, so pay attention because Denzel and Oprah's feud is about to become heated. 2009, Michelle, when they're right, you know, many are signing a petition for Roman Polanski, you saw the roar and the standing ovation. I think what Oprah said is right. I think she's dead on. I have faith in her. I don't have faith in all these people racing for the next savior. Well, as the, in the clip that you just showed, uh, among the people who leapt to their feet for Roman Polanski were hypocrite Meryl Streep and, of course, now accused multiple predator Harvey Weinstein. And I have to disagree with you slightly, Sean, because as much as I've heard so much By the way, so we've been positive, family for years. You go right ahead. Did, everyone so else, can, what do you hear tonight's right, Hannity hate mail? Go ahead. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we, yeah, so... Uh, I do not join in all of the the uh, effusive praise for Oprah's speech last night. I thought it was textbook, partisan, uh, and ideological identity liberalism. And she herself is one who has been accused by um, multiple victims of Harvey Weinstein of being a fixer for Harvey Weinstein. There are many infamous pictures of her I've seen the pictures. hanging off of, but did, of but Weinstein. Did, but it, you have to be fair. She, did she know? We don't know if she knew. Well, a lot you know, of people have taken pictures with me and you over the years. We don't know them. No question about it, but the uh, consensus from so many of the people who have been complaining about Harvey Weinstein for years and been ignored is that, quote unquote, everybody knew. Meryl Streep knew, and many people believe that Oprah Winfrey knew as well. So, look, the idea that uh, Hollywood and Democrat uh, strategists think somehow that Oprah Winfrey has a chance in 2020 and that she's allowing all of this buzz to happen. Uh, she has her boyfriend, Stedman, uh, cheering on uh, all of the gossip about uh, a potential run. What would we get? We'd get another eight years of the same kind of Chicago machine identity liberalism that we got under Barack Obama, who uh, has in, in part so large uh, a role uh, of Oprah Winfrey to thank for getting to him, getting him where he was. And and last night, all of Hollywood and, and Oprah were pretending as if the last eight years of the Obama administration didn't happen. And, and, and that's to me, I think, w what's most troubling: the unreality of the people you in know, the Hollywood bubble. Sean, I guess the difference. I I go back. I I felt in many ways between vetting Obama and Reverend Wright and black liberation theology and Dorns and Ayers and Acorn and Alinsky and Frank Marshall Davis, I felt there were a few of us. Michelle, I know, was one. Um, and, and there were a few of us that vetted him. And then after eight years, there were very few of us that talked about what? We had 13 million more Americans on food stamps, 8 million more in poverty, the lowest labor participation rate since the 70s, worst recovery since the 40s, lowest home ownership rate in 51 years, and we doubled the debt, and he gave Iran $150 billion. So truth and facts and substance matters, but I kind of feel I was alone here in a lot of ways. I had Michelle, was like family to me, by my side and a few others. That's about it. So why the rush for a savior again when the last savior they chose failed so miserably? Well, look, I think the thing that's interesting is that what Oprah said last night, all Americans should agree with, and, and I, I agree with you, uh, that respecting women, creating a safe work environment for all individuals is something that we should all agree on. It should be beyond politics. It should be beyond uh, ideology. It should be something that every American and every human supports. Uh, that being said, I think that the interesting thing last night is she didn't talk about policy. She didn't talk about how to solve some of the more controversial issues. And to your point right now, I mean, they're about to coronate somebody who gave a speech on, frankly, something that not only should we all agree on, but something that you aptly point out is highly hypocritical well, by the for way, most they of the people in that room. They uh, did. Where, where, I mean, Sean, it's not just Roman Polanski. It's, it's Bill Clinton. It's others who, when Good they're point. given an opportunity to speak Checkmate. out, they overlooked it.
They, they did more. You know, you had to sit in a room. I don't know how the hell you did your job for as long as you did. And I noticed in an interview with SE Cup, you were kind of hard on yourself. And I'm thinking, you know, you really didn't do that much wrong because they were so hostile. I can't think of a moment they've given Trump a break. And they gave Obama every break, oh, both before, during, and after. <laughs> What's your experience Even with the, the press? Center, uh, the, oh, it, it, I mean, look, I, I had known a lot of these guys for, for sometimes, in some cases, more than two decades. I think there was unbelievably a, a massive hostile, hostility never seen before. And the Pew Center backed it up. 63% of the coverage against President Trump was negative, only 5% positive, which is three times what that was of Obama. I mean, they came out guns a blazing in the mainstream media. Uh, they, were, they were upset that they were wrong, and they were going to take it out on their coverage. All right, last word, Michelle. Well, I, I think that Hollywood and the Democrats need to put down the Oprah bong and stop inhaling. And I think probably the reason why they're so desperate is if you look at the current field of Democrat potential candidates for 2020, you've got the pretendian Elizabeth Warren. You've got uh, Bernie Sanders, who will be 79. Uh, Maxine Waters, who's cast as the fresh face of the Democrat Party. No wonder they're grasping for the straw of Oprah Winfrey. Girl, you know Oprah's been the queen of daytime TV for years, but this scandal's got her shook like never before the streets are saying she's in full-on panic mode behind closed doors. And I've got the inside scoop on what's going down, so picture this Oprah's chilling in her mansion on some fancy tea when bam, her phone starts blowing up with news about this leaked footage. Can you imagine the look on her face? Sources close to her say she went pale as a G-ghost and nearly dropped her mug. Now Oprah's used to being in control, right? But chilly this time she's scrambling. Word on the street is she called an emergency meeting with her team faster than you can say you get a car they've been working around the clock, trying to figure out how to spin this mess, but here's the real tea Oprah is not just worried about her image she's scared while, like really scared someone who claims to be close to her inner circle says she's been having trouble sleeping, barely eating and snapping at everyone around around her this ain't the calm collected Oprah we're used to seeing on TV. And can you blame her this footage Denzel leaked could change everything we're talking about her. Whole empire crumbling down all those book deals, TV shows, magazines, poof gone in a second if this video turns out to be as bad as people are saying. With Barbara talking to the top headline makers of 2010, and she's here now to give us a first look. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning. Well, yes, I do have two from 9 to 10, a wonderful interview with Oprah, probably the most personal interview I've seen her do or done with her. She talks to a lot of people, but she doesn't usually talk about herself. 10 to 11 is 10 most fascinating people. We'll talk about that tomorrow, but today, Oprah. She's leaving her program, most people know, after 25 years, because in January, just a couple of weeks away, she starts her new network. She doesn't leave until the spring, but the new chapter begins next week. So we sat down with her, and as I said, I've never seen her quite as revealing throughout the interview. We asked her what I thought was, you know, a sort of simple question about her relationship with her best friend, Gail King. And this was her answer very personal. A lot of women have close friends. Very few have friends as close as yours. Mm -hmm. Describe that friendship to me. Whew, okay. Uh, she is the mother I never had. She is the sister everybody would want. She is the friend that everybody deserves. I don't know a better person. I don't know a better person. Why is it making you cry? <sighs> Shoot, wasn't gonna cry here. Um, it's making me cry because I'm thinking about how much uh, I probably have never told her that. Tissue, please. I now need tissue. I've never told her that. So when those, to me, dumb rumors come up mm -hmm. that you are and gay, Dad are gay. Uh huh. Uh, what do you say? Well, I have said uh, we are not gay enough times. I'm not lesbian. I'm not even kinda lesbian. And the reason why it irritates me is because it means that somebody must think I'm lying. That's number one. Number two, 
Why would you want to hide it? That, that, is, that is not the way I run my life. Now, Oprah's public relations staff is attempting to repair the damage over time by requesting favors, threatening legal action, and doing all in their can to preserve this tape. Oprah has reportedly been reaching out to her famous friends for support, but some of them are avoiding the situation. It's like the old saying that when you're on top, everyone wants to be your friend, but when you're filing, all of a sudden everyone is too busy to answer the phone. Under wraps, but girl, you know how the internet works once something's out there, it's out there for good. According to reports, Oprah is even thinking about issuing a public statement in an attempt to handle this issue before worsens, but her teams disagreed on whether it is a good idea or not some believe it will make her appear guilty, while others believe it is preferable to deal with it directly. Here's what's going on behind Oprah's closed door. She may appear calm and collected on the outside, but on the inside, girl, it's a completely different story. Oprah is sweating bullets trying to decide what to do, and let's not forget about Gail King, who has been by her side through thick and thin, Word has it that she has been staying at Oprah's place trying to keep her calm and help her figure out what to do next. She was completely rocked by this incident, and to be honest, we're all simply waiting to see what will happen next. Can Oprah recover, or is this the end for the media mogul? This drama is far from ended, so stay tuned. Oh, you see everything there, Barbara, the tears mm -hmm. and then the steel. Yeah, the whole yeah. interview is, I thought it was going to be, you know, and then I interviewed, and then I, it was not, it was as if she... You know, wanted to say all the things that she's kept in for years. That's why it's that's why it's an hour. But what about the relationship yeah. with Stedman and Graham? They're not seen together. Well, too much see, anymore. that interested me too because, uh, you know, I thought that he was out of the picture, and not at all. Hmm. I mean, they're together all the time. They live together. Did you know that? I did not know okay. that. I didn't know that. And she talks about her relationship with him and the difference in the in the two. You know, the friendship and the other relationship. So, uh, as I said, there was so much about this and her earlier life and, and also why she's leaving well, That's what I was going to ask you, years. 25 years, what, why did she choose this moment? I think because she's exhausted. Hmm. I know that's... You know, she's starting a new network. <laughs> exactly. So, I, you know, I don't want to tell you everything, but I'll tell you how the new network started, whose idea it was, and she's scared to death about it. Uh, and yet she's Oprah going to Winfrey go, scared to Oprah death. Oprah Winfrey scared to death. Yeah. Wow. Well, you've given us a lot to look forward to, Barbara. The Barbara Walters special, Oprah, uh, the next chapter, that airs tomorrow night at 9, 8 central, followed by the 10 most fascinating people of 2010, which Barbara's going to tell us about tomorrow. Great. I don't want to do two hours again, ever. <laughs> oh, it was great, but, but I never want to do, do it two again. Hours and, <laughs> and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. You know, girl, that Oprah's drama isn't finished yet. What will happen to the talk show queen next? her entire enterprise may collapse. According to the streets, we're talking about canceled deals and lost sponsors. The works can you see Oprah without all of her money. It would be like imagining a starless sky, but the truth is that this mess has the potential to alter how everyone views Oprah. Don't assume this drama is over just because you're America's sweetheart one minute and yesterday's news the next. Rumor has it that there is yet more to be revealed. What if Oprah decides to clap back, girl? What if Denzel has more dirt? This may turn into a full-scale celebrity war. Stay tight because this is far from done.